Hey guys, it's Applemint. Welcome back again to my channel and happy Friday. It has been another hot minute since I've seen you guys and let me just tell you that these past few weeks have been quite the time. <laughs> um, to give you guys a little update on my life, I had the anime convention about a month ago which I told you guys about and uh, I believe that was before my previous video that was posted but since then Ryan and I took a vacation and halfway through we caught COVID, so that has not been fun to say the least. Uh, yeah, so we got pretty sick. I think I caught the brunt of it a little bit worse than he did, though I believe he got sick before I did, so it took us a little while to even realize we were sick. Um, just because our symptoms were so, you know, we, we kind of wrote them off as us just being tired from traveling and, you know, being out every day and all that. Uh, but eventually it hit us pretty hard and uh, the last few days of the vacation were not very pleasant. So since then it's been, you know, we've been recovering and it I have not had the energy nor the will to do a lot of things online or just in general though i did finish this piece of artwork which you will see me doing throughout the video and i really like this one i'll talk to you about it in a little bit um, i actually started it right before we went on vacation and uh just i intended on finishing it like on the plane ride but i just didn't have the will so i ended up watching a movie instead but uh, I ended up finishing this this week when I was, you know, finally recovered and felt better. So yeah, that was a whole time. Having COVID was not fun, though I will say it was kind of just like a really bad cold, at least for me. Though I don't know if my voice shows it, but I am still a bit congested, which um, it just, it's just been like that. We tested negative over a week ago, so we're fine, but... The effects, at least for me, are lingering. I think my sense of smell and taste is still at like 80%. I wouldn't say it's like fully what it used to be, but I think it'll come back, you know, as time passes. But regardless, that is where I have been uh, these past few weeks, just, you know, dealing with that. I intended on getting this video up last week, but you know, life said no. Life said I have different plans for you. So that is where I have been. Um, to tell you a little bit about this drawing, you, right now you see me kind of planning it out, sketching it. Um, right now I'm laying down the color specifically just to plan it. And as I've said in previous videos, I just kind of do a little mock-up, a uh, rough mock-up of what I want the final product to be. This just helps me kind of hype myself up for the final product, what it's going to look like at the end, and just give me a good idea also of the direction it's going in because also when you kind of plan the lighting and things like that it ahead of time it helps you with the shading and all that you know so you're not like working really hard on shading and then realize oh hey I got the light source completely wrong <laughs> which I've done so many times so now I try to plan everything ahead of time especially uh, include the lighting because that way I kind of have a plan going into it but um I don't have a name for this character. This is not anybody in particular. I don't... The, the, I think the inspiration for this drawing just came one day when I was like... I, I was inspired to draw. I wanted to make something. I had my creative juices flowing, but I didn't know what I wanted to draw. And so uh, I sat down and I decided to do something... Um, I don't know. I wanted something like to be a full illustration piece with a little bit of a background. And... Um, I was scrolling on Twitter, I think, and I uh, crossed a picture of a girl in a bathtub, and then it got me thinking, so I started looking at reference pictures of all different girls in bathtubs, and <laughs> just kind of created a little demon girl character, and uh, threw her in some bath water with some flower petals and candles, and just went from there. So I tend to, I realized that I tend to gravitate toward color palettes, at least largely for digital art, um, that include a lot of warmth. Um, like, you know, in this there's a lot of lighting from the candles that you'll see as I go on and I color it. So the like warm glow, I like that kind of lighting. A lot of my lighting tends to be orangey. Uh, I guess the 2B piece that I did a few weeks ago, that was more like blue light coming from the computer screens she was sitting in front of. But for the most part, when I draw things, I tend to do sunsets, 
or twilights or um, just like, you know, like in this case, she's going to be lit by the warm glow of the candles. And I, I think I just like that because I also tend to use like browns and sometimes like in this case, you know, there's a dark blue for her hair. And uh, I think that overall it just it, it contrasts nicely with the warm tones of the lighting and it just all looks very nice and very sunsetty, twilighty. <laughs> That's the color palette I tend to uh, enjoy using, at least as of late. I realize a lot of my pieces use that, but whatever, you know, that's fine. <laughs> uh, but as I was going with this, I was playing around with different details. I didn't want to get too crazy on the shading because I knew I was going to focus heavily on the lighting after the fact and um, it would be a little bit dark in here so I wouldn't need to go too crazy on the shading overall which of course comes later when I go ahead and I add in extra layers on top to change the lighting and uh, all that but you'll see that in a little bit I think my favorite part of the piece actually is her eyes in this case I don't know what it is about them but I just really liked how they came out I made them mostly golden colored, but they fade up in, into kind of like a blue on the top very lightly. So I, I like the way it came out. And um, I was having a lot of fun with this piece. I actually put it down when I had gone on vacation for like a good two weeks. And when I came back to it, it was one of those things where I almost actually didn't finish it because you know how it is when you start something and then you put it down for a while and you kind of lose your like I didn't lose motivation I guess I would say I lost the inspiration for the piece like I lost my thought process of what I was doing um because you know I was very I had a plan I had a vision in mind at the time that I was working on this originally and uh once I put it aside it kind of became a little more difficult to figure out like okay where was I again like I had to pick up that drive again but once I started shading it and like going all in and just committing to it I ended up getting back into the swing of things and I'm very happy that I didn't just leave it aside because this is a piece that I'm very happy with in the end and you know I say that now we'll see how long that lasts that usually the grace period is usually like a month and then I hate my artwork later but <laughs> such is the life of an artist but anyway I'm happy I picked this one back up because it's always good practice for different lighting situations and things but also I just like the way it came out overall um i don't think i've ever done anything like this in terms of like a little body of water of some sort i don't usually draw water i did find a texture for the water which you'll see in a moment when i actually try to you know i was gonna draw those parts manually but i ended up finding a water texture that i played around with a little bit and edited um, in order to make the bath water look a little less uh, I don't know a little more detailed I guess is what I'm saying so you'll see me add that in a moment right now I'm just shading the tub and some of the other little details but um yeah overall I also use the perspective tool to kind of make sure that the bathtub and everything uh, and the tiles on the wall were all going in the right direction and angled properly so that tool is very helpful um, it's just like you know you learn in art school or you learn in art class uh, they teach you how to go ahead and make sure you measure everything out properly to make sure your perspective lines and everything are going in the right direction so you're not like sitting there with wonky art which I've done way too many times and using the perspective uh, grid is very helpful but anyway as my drawing comes to an end I am just adding some finishing details some glow to different things um, fixing up the water and her body underneath the water and adding a little bit more warmth to the candles around her and just you know playing with the lighting but overall I really enjoyed this piece and I'm glad I picked it back up and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do it um, me and Ryan are better from COVID now so <laughs> I'm back to work and I actually have a Kickstarter launching tomorrow so keep an eye out for that I will post about that on my social media um, but anyway I thank you guys all for watching and supporting me as always and all of my links are in the description box below my link to my online store my patreon pin club my discord server and my Instagram are all there so please check that out if you'd like to support me leave a like on the video I always appreciate it and I will see you guys next time in my next video Fridays at 4 p.m. Eastern time as always. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye bye.